Hello and welcome back everybody. In this episode we're going to be working on blood spatter for the enemy. So I went ahead and dragged the enemy into the scene just for his scale. And now I'm going to go up to game object, particle system, and I, I'm going to center that on this guy. Uh, we set transform like that. So this is the particle system that we're going to use for blood spatter. Take it off the enemy, rename it blood fx. Um, I'm going to change my color to red. And for the for the emission shape, or sorry, for the emission, we're going to remove rate over time and add a burst between 30 and 60. Stop. Change the duration to 2. Um, start lifetime will be 2. Start speed will be 3. Uh, what else? Gravity modifier is 1. Shape should be a sphere. Sorry about that. Exit. Um, <clears throat> now, change the, the radius to something much smaller, like 0.5. And click simulate. All right, so right off the bat, um, it's looking better than it was, but that's like a lot of blood, and it it also has like it's it's too bright. So the first thing we're gonna do is reduce the size of the particles, and. I, um, I don't want it all to be one size, so I'm going to click on this little arrow and have it be random between two constants. And this will be um, 0 0.05 and 0 0.15. Simulate. It's looking better. <clears throat> okay, so... You know, I think I'm actually happy with that. I, I think I'll, I'll leave it like that for now. And then if if the color seems too bright, we can play with that later. So now take that blood effects prefab, drop it into the prefabs folder, and delete it from the scene. Now I'm going to open up uh, enemy health. open and the first thing I want to do is create a reference to that game object public game object health or sorry blood spatter and find that in the prefabs and drag it onto the new field blood effects save and I'm just going to apply that to the prefab right, right away. And now when we take damage, we want to shoot some blood out. So we could do that here, or we could do it down here. I'll do it uh, just right here. All right, so now we have game object, blood spatter. Blood splatter. That looks better. Game object blood splatter equals game object dot instantiate. And we're trying to create the blood spatter. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I will actually put this down here because we have this collision object stored in memory down here. And we can use that to put the blood exactly where the enemy gets hit. So let's just put it here. Game object blood splatter equals game object dot instantiate blood spatter. Is that what I called it? I'm if if you right click, you can actually go to refactor and rename. And I feel like that should have an L. Blood splatter. 
save. And now that probably... Alright, so... It, it probably lost our connection in the inspector, but we can't fix it now because we have to finish this line of code. And we're going to put it at collision dot point uh, or something like that. Collision dot contacts Yeah, let's do that. Dot transform all right so if we do collision dot contacts that's going to return a contact point and I'm not actually sure what's within that contact point class we have a normal a point, oh, okay, so that's what we want. And this is just going to grab the first entry in this list. And so now we're creating blood splatter. Splatter. And um, we, we have just collided with a bullet. So we're, go we're going to go into that collision object take the first object that we collided with, and then take the point of that collision. And for rotation, uh, let's just do, as an, as an experiment, we can do collision.contacts.normal. And that should be the upward direction of the impact. And I don't know, if, I don't know what that's going to do, so we'll find out. Now save that. Let's, we have an error. All right, and if you assign this back into a game object, you have to cast it as a game object like that. Clear. All right, so it's not happy about something. Oh, uh, and I guess this normal is a vector three. We need a quaternion, so that's not going to work. Uh, I'm just going to put in quaternion dot identity. And that's just like a standard up, up direction. And I typed blood splatter, but it wants something different. Blood splatter, save. All right, so it's not working. I'm, I'm going to cut this entire line of code, let it recompile, now put it back in, and it's still broken. So what did I do wrong here? Public game object blood splatter. Oh, <laughs> that's because I'm trying to name the game object the same thing as the prefab. So actually we don't, I don't think we'll need this reference, so we can just delete that. Just create the game object, don't save a reference to it. All right, sorry about that, guys. So now I go back into FPS controller, or actually Axon, and you can see we lo we lost the reference to blood splatter since I renamed it. My bad. Now I just drag blood effects back onto blood sp bl blood splatter. I don't know why I'm having such trouble saying that. Anyway, um, once that's set, go ahead and apply and save the scene, and now we can delete Axon and try the game out for real. All right, here he comes. And that is a lot of blood. And you'll notice that the blood just keeps splashing around. So to fix that, we already have a die after time script that we built in a previous episode. So we can just type die and determine a lifespan, which should be one.
All right. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> so l let's see what that looks like with the lights out. It's probably going to be really bright. Where are you? Die. Okay, yep. That's really bright. Doesn't seem like it's taking any lighting from the scene. It's just using the same red color no matter what. Alright, so we need to pick a much darker blood color. And if possible, I would I would like the particles to be lit with the scene lighting. Alright, so I just did some basic googling and there's no easy way to make these particles react to lighting in the scene. Come on, Unity. Get your shit together. So, we're just going to take this red color and bring it way down. Make it much darker. And I think I'm going to bring the size of these down even further. And ch change the emission from... Change the, change the max value to about 40. I'm going to save that. And hit play one more time. And I think I might want it to be even darker. Alright, and it seems like it's also splashing out a little bit too far. So I change the speed to something like 2.5. And bring that even further down. One more try. Yeah, that's looking better. Ah, I got killed. Alright. Um, I think we're definitely on, a, on the right track. Um, I'm going to cut this video off here. In the next video, I'll work on touching up the environment even more.